Now, if you're anything like me, you wanna find a way to save some money on your wireless bill. Now, there are some good trends sort of leaning toward this, the best being the abolishment of the three-year contracts, and now phone companies can only give you two. But if you really wanna save some money, the thing to look at is a cheaper phone. Now, while we are trained to want the latest and greatest from Samsung or Apple, there are actually some new phones in sort of that mid-tier level. In my hands right now, I have the Moto E, which is a new, fairly cheap Android. And on the other hand, I have the BlackBerry Leap. So this is their latest phone. It's coming out very, very soon. It's a new touchscreen model, and you know, it's sort of right in that mid-tier. I believe both these phones you can get for zero dollars down. Uh, now, the thing is, is, they're pretty good. You don't get all of the top of the line stuff. You know, the screens are okay, the cameras are fine, but you know, it's not sort of that 60 megapixels you're gonna get on sort of the Samsung X6. Now that said, I think that the real question is, is what do you use your phone for? If all you're really doing is, you know, texting, a little bit of email, or, you know, actually using your phone as a phone and making calls, which I believe some people still do, these things work really, really well and are definitely worth a look. The BlackBerry in particular, I still think they do messaging just about better than anybody. There is a ton of competition in this sort of mid-tier, lower-end phone, particularly with older models as well. I think right now you can get an iPhone 5C for $0 down on some plans. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha, I think, is also available in a couple places. So, I mean, there are a lot of options out there if you are willing to look for a deal. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rajimuddin.